The bread of life today will come from Matthew chapter 21, verses 45 through 46. Matthew chapter 21, verses 45 through 46, and I'll read for us. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard his parables, they understood that he was speaking about them. When they sought to seize him, they feared the people because they considered him to be a prophet. This is the word of God. Amen. Today is the third day of the Passion Week, and we've come upon the day of debate on this Tuesday. When Jesus entered into Jerusalem, the disciples saw uh, that the fig tree that Jesus had cursed had withered away. And upon seeing this, Jesus uh, taught them uh, three, uh, three great things in Mark chapter 11, verses 23 to 25. When we look there, it speaks of the greatness of faith, the greatness of prayer, and the greatness of forgiveness. In Mark chapter 11, verse 24, when you look there, Therefore I say to you, all things for which you pray and ask, believe that you have received them, and they will be granted you. And that is the words that he spoke to them. And Jesus now, as he has entered into Jerusalem, there were very many religious leaders that he met with. The re religious leaders at that time was about 24,000. And these people, whatever it was they wanted to do, they wanted to be able to catch him and put him to death. In Matthew chapter 22, verse 15, when you look there, it says, Then the Pharisees went and plotted together how they might trap him in what he said. And that's the word that is being spoken to us. Jesus understood that the people were trying to trap him uh, to put him to death and Jesus alone he debated and proclaimed the word of God to them today on this Tuesday is the day of debate let us examine the footsteps that Jesus took on this day first on the day of debate, Jesus spoke the most on this day. Based in the book of Matthew, we're going to examine this. In Matthew chapter 21, verses 18 to chapter 26, verse 5, and chapter 26, verses 14 through 16, uh, this is the word that he spoke on Tuesday of the Passion Week. Matthew is made up of a total of 28 chapters. And in terms of verses, there are 1,071 verses. However, on this Tuesday of the Passion Week, the things that came about, there are uh, 219 verses dedicated to this day. Therefore, among 1,071 verses, about 20% of these verses are dedicated to this day. Beloved saints, on Tuesday of the Passion Week, the events that occurred on this day for all that was recorded in the book of Matthew for Jesus' life, 20% of this is dedicated to this day alone. Through this, we can see just how many things Jesus spoke on this day. If we speak for even just one hour, our throats become sore and dry. But look at Jesus. All day long, he was unable to eat from a point of starvation, he was speaking. Our Lord, all day long, was not even able to have a drink of water, and from a point of thirst, he still spoke. Jesus was hungry and thirsty. Was it just one or two days? 
In Matthew chapter 25, verses 41 to 42, this is the word that he spoke. Then he will also say to those on the left, depart from me, accursed ones. Into the eternal fire which has been prepared for the devil and his angels. In verse 42, when you look there, it says, For I was hungry, and you gave me nothing to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. And this is the groan that he gave off. Beloved saints, today, on this Tuesday, on the day of debate, Jesus, who was thirsty, and Jesus whose lips were cracked and drying, the many religious leaders and the debates that Jesus held, let us understand the troubled heart that Jesus had. Let us understand the heartbreak and the sadness that Jesus was feeling today. And I have this hope that we will all come to this realization. The content that Jesus spoke is, can be divided into 10 different ways. On this Tuesday, Jesus spoke 10 different things. Through the man of God, Reverend Abraham Park, we heard very many words and were educated in this way. First, it was the religious leaders that questioned where Jesus' authority came from. In Matthew chapter 21, verses 23 through 27, also in Mark chapter 11, verses 27 through 33. Also in Luke chapter 20, verses 1 through 8, record this. Secondly, he warned the religious leaders through three parables. There are three parables that Jesus spoke to the religious leaders. In Matthew chapter 21, verses 28 through chapter 22 through 14. In Mark chapter 12, verses 1 through 12. Luke chapter 14, verses 15 through 24. And also in Luke chapter 20, verses 9 and 10, I'll record all this. Third, he was questioned by a lawyer and religious leaders, and they asked these questions about paying taxes, about resurrection, and about the commandments. In Matthew chapter 22, verses 15 through 40, record this. Also in Mark chapter 12, verses 13 through 27. Also in Luke chapter 20, verses 20 through 44, record this for us. The fourth was Jesus being questioned about the Messiah. The Messiah, the Christ, is if he is the son of David, why then does David call him master? Therefore, Jesus, on the outward appearance, came as the son of David. But he is, Jesus is also the Son of God that has the divinity of God. And that's recorded in Matthew chapter 22, verses 41 through 46. Also in Mark chapter 12, verses 18 through 27. In Luke chapter 20, verse 27 through 40. Also record this for us. Fifth, he rebuked the Pharisees and the religious leaders. In Matthew chapter 23, verses 1 through 39. Woe to you, Pharisees and Sadducees. And Jesus uh, proclaimed the seven woes to them. Mark chapter 12, verses 35 through 39. Luke chapter 11, verses 37 through 52. Also in Luke chapter 13, verses 34 to 35. And as well as Luke chapter 20, verses 41 through 46. Record all this. 
Sixth, he spoke about the widow and the two small copper coins. We, we should not consider just how great an offering we give to be important, but from what I have, how much am I dedicating to God? Is my heart, what is the state of my heart when I give this offering? That is important. And so in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 5 and 6, God loves those that give joyfully. Those that give uh, bountifully will reap bountifully, but those who sow sparingly will reap sparingly. The word about the widow and the two small copper coins is written in Mark chapter 12, verses 41 through 44. Also in Luke chapter 21, verses 1 through 4, record this for us. Seven, he spoke a word about the Greeks. The Greeks saw that Jesus came and Philip brought Jesus to them. The gospel is not just for the Jews, but it is for all the nations of the world. And that is what is being made known. We can see this in John chapter 12, verses 20 through 36. Eighth, he spoke about the unbelief of the Jews and their judgment. In John chapter 12, verses 36 through 50, record this. Ninth, he spoke about the destruction of Jerusalem and the end of the age. Jesus spoke in these two ways that going forward Jerusalem through Jerusalem he spoke about how the end of the age would come in Matthew chapter 24 and chapter 25 Mark chapter 13 the entirety speaks of this and Luke chapter 17 and chapter 21 record this finally number 10 Jesus spoke about the conspiracy of the Jews. In Matthew chapter 26, verses 1 through 5. In Mark chapter 14, verses 1 through 2. Luke chapter 22, verses 1 through 2. And John chapter 11, verses 45 to 53 record this. Today, on this Tuesday of the Passion Week, on the day of debate, all of the words that I just referenced for you, let us read this all and meditate on it. And let us understand the heart of our Lord that spoke all of these words. In conclusion, the words that were spoken on the day of debate was a shout of earnestness and desire for one person to repent. Why did Jesus did, why did Jesus not drink any water on this day and speak the word? This is because even if one person were to understand and repent, that is the love that Jesus had for this to occur. In 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9, when you look in the second half of the verse, it says, not wishing for any to perish, but for all to come to repentance. In 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 4, when you look there, God desires all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. The religious leaders understood that the words that Jesus spoke were about themselves, and they understood this. If that's the case, if they understood that, all they needed to do was repent. But even though they understood this, they re rejected his word and wanted to catch him, to seize him. In Matthew chapter 21, verse 45, when you look there, when the chief priests and the Pharisees heard his parables, they understood that he was speaking about them. Clearly, it says that they understood that it was about themselves. However, they did not repent. Instead, they wanted to seize him and put him to death. In verse 46, when they sought to seize him, in Matthew chapter 21, verse 46, they wanted to seize him. Look at Mark chapter 14, verse 1. 
They were seeking how to seize him by stealth and kill him. Beloved saints, today, on this Tuesday, the words that were spoken during this day of debate, it is a word that is proclaimed to each and every single one of us. If that's the case, let us understand that if the Lord is speaking about me like the religious leaders, let us not become people that try to attack Jesus, but let us listen to this word and let us reflect upon our lives that have passed and truly repent and prostrate ourselves before the Lord. And if we do that, please believe that our lives will be changed to lives of blessings. Today, Jesus spoke to the point where his throat was hurting. Lord, please rest. I will go out in your stead and debate for you. Let us become the spiritual lawyers for Jesus and debate for him. Who are they? Today, may all of the families of Pyongyang become the spiritual lawyers for Jesus and debate on his behalf. Let us testify of the word and so let us defend him from all the attacks that come to the Lord and I pray these blessings upon all of you in the name of the Lord. Let us pray. Precious Heavenly Father God, on this Tuesday, on the day of debate, our Lord was not even able to drink a drop of water and his tongue was stuck to the roof of his was not even stuck to the roof of his mouth that he spoke very many words he desired for even one person to repent and return may we come to an understanding of the troubled heart that the Lord had that we may be able to come to this understanding. Today, may this word be a word that is proclaimed to each of us individually. May we truly come to this understanding as we prostrate ourselves before the Lord and repent and in so doing for the remainder of our lives, may we become the spiritual debaters for our Father God. We thank you for all things, and we pray in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ with thanksgiving. Amen. At this time, the coronavirus, let us pray that it will come to a halt so that peace may come upon every part of the world. Also, on April 12th, on Easter Sunday, may all the saints come to the Mariah Sanctuary. Let us pray for this to occur. Let us also pray that through the general election on April the 15th, let us pray that those that will truly stand for the nation and for the people, that they will sacrifice themselves uh, for the nation. Let's pray that they will be elected. And let us also pray for our own individual prayer topics, and then we'll close with the Lord's Prayer. Thank you very much.